Hello, fellow explorers, let's talk physics. Have you ever wondered why a ball falls down instead of up, or how the sun warms your face from millions of miles away? These aren't just random questions, they are the very heart of physics. Physics is the amazing science that explores how everything in the universe works, from the tiniest wiggliest particles to the biggest grandest galaxies. It's the rule book for reality. It tells us the story of energy, matter, and all the forces that make things go. So if you've ever asked why, about the world around you, congratulations, you're already thinking like a physicist. Let's start with a force you feel every second of every day. Gravity. We think of it as something that just pulls things down. You drop your phone, it falls. Simple, right? But there's a much bigger, more beautiful secret to gravity. The physicist Albert Einstein showed us that gravity isn't really a pull at all. Instead, it's a warp, a curve, a dent in the very fabric of space and time. Imagine laying a big, stretchy sheet flat. Now place a bowling ball in the middle. See how it makes a dip? That's what the Earth is doing right now. It's rolling along the giant curve in space-time created by the Sun. This cosmic glue holds entire galaxies together, keeping stars from flying off into the void. Every time you jump, you are momentarily fighting against the curvature of space-time. Imagine the fastest thing you can think of. A race car? A jet plane? Those are fast, for sure. But they are practically standing still compared to the ultimate speed champion of the universe, Light. Light zips through space at 186,000 miles per second. That's so fast a beam could circle Earth more than seven times in a single second. According to physics, nothing with mass can ever reach it. It's the universe's absolute speed limit, and it all goes back to Einstein's famous equation. When you look up at the night sky, you're not seeing stars as they are now. You're seeing them as they were in the past. The light from Andromeda Galaxy has been traveling for two and a half million years to reach your eyes. The universe is a time machine. We often think of time as a constant, steady beat. A second is always a second, an hour is always an hour. But what if time is more like a river that can flow faster or slower depending on where you are? This is Einstein's theory of relativity. Time is relative. It's personal. Astronauts on the International Space Station, zipping around Earth at 17,000 miles per hour, age slightly slower than we do. GPS satellites experience this time dilation. Without correcting for this effect, GPS navigation would fail within minutes. Time is not a rigid ruler, it's a flexible, flowing part of the cosmic fabric. Now let's shrink down, way way down, smaller than a cell, smaller than a molecule, smaller than a single atom. Welcome to the quantum realm, where the rules of our everyday world get thrown out the window. Things exist in a fuzzy cloud of possibilities, it's a ghostly, uncertain dance. When an electron gains energy, it doesn't move smoothly, instead, it instantly disappears and reappears in a new position, with